All right, we're losing some light here, so I'm going to bring up to the stage real quick Miss Vicki Ashton. Today, a move towards justice was made when Judge Walker informed us of what every kindergartner is taught the first day of school. Play nice and share. At long last, California law no longer legitimizes the discrimination of gays and lesbians in regards to marriage. This is a victory. But the fight is not over. The minds that brought this about still exist. The people who challenge the right to love and to have that love recognized, they've already said they're not going to stop. And while it's well, uh, sorry, they're not going to stop. And while it is well and good to make your fight big, it is more important for us to make our fight deep. So talk, talk about equality. Make them uncomfortable. Drag the bigotry out into the sunshine where it can die. Talk at work, at school, at home. Talk about it with your friends, your family, and with a total stranger. Wear your views out where they can be seen. We will drag people kicking and screaming into the 21st century if we have to. And don't let anyone ever tell you that it's not the time, it's not the place, or it's inappropriate. Equality is never inappropriate. Don't let them tell you that it's a political issue and we can, I love this, agree to disagree. <laughs> No, I will never agree to disagree on this issue. I will never concede that someone else has the right to tell another how to live their life. And I will never allow that this is just a political issue. These are people's lives that they are playing with and they cannot be allowed to step back and agree to disagree. So make a vow today. Never be silent. Where there is injustice, speak out. When a wrong is done to another, defend them. When you see bigotry, squelch it with the truth. Never be afraid of defending what is right and teach your children to do the same. Teach them that closets are for clothes, bigotry belongs firmly in the past, that they are our future. No one else will. So above all, teach them, teach your children, never be silent. Thank you. Very good words, very good words. Another round of applause for Vicky, please. Okay, once again at this time, we're gonna have Miranda Ashton with a performance for you. Um, this song is called um, Year 2020 by Ace Enders, and it's about bringing back love and bringing equality back to life. By the year 2020, I want to look at what we did so we can stand up all together because we put an end to it. Yeah, there'll be no more pointless fighting, no more money running, and we'll bring back love. We'll bring back love. We'll bring back love again. Now I'm standing in the chapel. It's not something I normally did. But I was broken and that's that I had nothing to give. I meant put money in my pocket. I just stared straight up and looked at him. He said, go take it, girl, you can do much more with it. And we all could learn from him. Yeah, I will never forget what he said. By the year 2020, I want to look at what we did. So we can stand up all together, cause we put Down the sidewalk, I just paid my final debt. I see a woman and her son, yeah, they have no place to live. The boy was turning out his pockets, I heard him wish he had a bed. I said, I have some room you could use to get back in. She said, I'm not sure if I can pay you for this. That's fine, I'm hoping by the year 2020 I want to look at what we did 
stand up all together cause we put an end to end. Yeah, there'll be no more pointless fighting, no more money running and We'll bring back love. We'll bring back love. We'll bring back love again. Okay, once again, I'm going to ask for some donations. If they're going to be walking around, you find yourselves with a little bit of extra change in your pockets, feel free to drop it in the box. It's greatly appreciated. At this time, I'd like to bring to the stage Mr. Scotty Maldonado. Hey, Fresno. We did it! Today we saw a monumental decision by a federal court in the name of LGBT equality that means so much more than just our community. It means so much more than just here in Fresno and so much more than just the state of California, but it's a step in the right direction for our country and for the world. And I am proud to be an American today. You know, when I heard the decision, I was at the coffee shop uh, right outside of my apartment, and I was revisited with feelings of May 2008 when we heard that we could get married. And I was overjoyed and overwhelmed, and I didn't know what to think. But then immediately after, I was overcome with the same feelings I had on November 5th, 2008, when we lost. And I said to myself right then and there that this is not going to happen again. We can't let it happen again. We have to continue to talk to each other, to band together as a community, continue to have conversations with our friends, our family, our neighbors, with strangers at the coffee shop, and talk to people about who we are. Because who we are is no different than they will ever be. We are the same. We are one. And all we want is what they have already. But how do we do this? We all have to make a commitment here today to each other, to our community, to the people who support us and back us whenever we go where we go. We have to make a commitment to have those conversations and to continue the work that it takes to bring this back to the ballot in 2012 and win our rights because we say so. Yeah. We also have to work to elect pro-equality candidates, including a pro-equality governor and attorney general to make sure that these people will not uphold Prop 8, they will not defend it in a court of law. We have to continue to work, we have to continue to fight. We cannot give up, because even though today feels great, it's not over. It's not the end. It's far from over. And if you're willing to commit to fight, I will stand there with you. Thank you. Some very strong words, and I agree with them. The fight is not over, but I tell you what, this is a hell of a good start for our side. Thank you, thank you, thank you.